you wouldn't know why you would need color for your text. I created this short, small little video for Zoe's Corner and I wanted to have rainbow colors for the video. So I don't know, maybe you have a presentation, maybe you're in class with small kids and you want to do text, or maybe you want to animate like I did. Sometimes you might need text that are colorful. Let me show you two ways that you can do that. You're gonna go on Canva and you're gonna open a blank canvas. The first way that I wanna show you, you're gonna go to apps and you're gonna look for Font Studio. The app opens up different kinds of templates that you could use. You will look at them and pick whichever one you want to use from blank to colorful. So say for instance, we start with this color swirl. Over where it says text, you're gonna write the text that you want. I wrote create rainbow text over there. And then when you scroll down, you can pick a kind of font that you want to use. And then you scroll down, you could pick the letter fill either if you want to use an image or if you want to use a color for the letter fill. So you can use an image if you also want to do that. And when you scroll down, you can choose special effect. It should tilt, it should not. It's insane, right? You can do all sorts of crazy things here. Yeah. You can separate the letters and do all amazing sort of, especially in class. One thing I really like is the layers that you could add for the text that you're creating. So say you want the first layer, it is an outline layer. You could click on the color and then you could remove the color. By clicking on the actual color, you can choose your very own layer and color that you could choose and add on this text that you're creating. This is the outline. There's another outline that you could also change and tweak and make your own. You could even have two types of outlines and different colors that you could add. As soon as I change color, you see that it starts applying over there. It's really, really, really quite cool. And then there's the shadow one that you could also change to a color that you want. So let's say we want the shadow to be purple and then it looks like that. It's up to you. The other thing that you could do is you could move the, the layers around. You click and you drag the order to the way that you want to do that. So you move your mouse and you hold on the two lines and then you reorder how they look like. Once you're done and you're happy with your creation, you just add to design and it moves over to your design and, it, and tweak and make your own. And if you're done, you can always go back and pick another template and you can play around like we've done. The next app I want to show you that I also thought was very cool is this app that we use quite a lot. It is the gradient app, this, the type gradient. Again, you're going to write the text that you want to use. So let's write create rainbow color the cool thing that you can do with this app you can add new colors with these dots that are here and you can also delete them so what do i mean by that the first dot is sitting on the blue color and depending on how many colors you want you can add another dot change the color or add a different color to the second dot and then add another dot and choose the red and add another dot and choose a blue and add another dot and choose a yellow. So I think you're getting what I mean. Hey, you could play around with the colors and the dots that you're adding on here so that you create your own little rainbow color that you want. And when you move the pointers, you can choose how the colors spread on your design and it creates that rainbow beautiful color. Like this dark red I don't like, you click on it and you delete it. And then you have a beautiful color that you've created with your text. Once you're done and happy, you click on add to design and it adds it to your design. This is also an image that gets created on your text. And that's how you create rainbow colors. Very cool, right? Please like the video. Tell me in the comments below if this has added value. If you want to go learn another tip on Canva, go to the playlist and go watch this next video. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you with our next video.